Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Okay, so I've done the review on which one of these is better, and we were looking at these because it's the sort of thing we want to be able to offer a digital copy of a key. If you've got a Samsung or Carver or Lockwood digital lock on your front door and you want another key, it's always good to be able to do that. And that's what these two machines are here for. Now, with this little uh, tiny chameleon, uh, mini, sorry, ch chameleon tiny, this was bought in the hope that we could uh, set it up with multiple tags that can be programmed through it. And it did seem to do some sort of success, and um, but we never actually got it to work. We've tried it multiple different ways and it just does not seem to, you know, want to be working. I've read the instruction or I've looked at a couple of online other videos and basically you're meant to turn it on, put the card on top and then hold down the B button and that's meant to do something. But to date, I haven't been able to get it working. I did take the battery out and do a, a hard reset on it, but still no, no functionality from it. Also, what I noticed is that um, now I can't go between the different cards. So it did actually have a, a, a sniffing function there, which was quite um, quite interesting. Uh, when I go down here and I you know put it next to the tag, and I could go down here and um, crack it and things along those lines, but unfortunately, just nothing really came of it. Like I couldn't I couldn't rewrite the unique ID. I couldn't use it on the emulator tags, um, and I haven't been able to do anything with it. So where these two are simple, put the tag there, read it, put the tag there, clone it, no problems whatsoever. This device was meant to be that simple and I was made, meant to be able to do all these tags with it and some of the more um, encrypted ones as well. But unfortunately, um, I got no use out of it. It's only been out of the box now for a day or two and it's pretty much just, um, how do you say, just jammed up on me and um, I can't get any action out of it. I can't get it to clone any tag or be used in any sense or fashion. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with it. It looks like a really great product and I'm pretty disappointed with it. Um, but at this stage, yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a hit and miss. So um, as far as being able to use it for emulating different tags or finding out key codes and things, no, I'm not having any luck with it. It probably, probably wasn't the best investment for what we use tags for and the way we clone tags. Would have been better off just buying a couple more of these ones. These ones are really good value at um, coming in 40, 50 bucks. These ones weren't such great value and they take a long time to boot up. So I'm more leaning out of all of these uh, towards this one. There was one more, the Proxmark, and um, that's this one here, as you can see on the box. Look, don't get me wrong, this thing is meant to have all the functions, but you're basically running almost like DOS commands on your laptop to get it to work. And that's not convenient for me, um, or you know anybody else who's standing over a counter needing to needing to decode tags, so, or decode or clone tags. So the moral of the story is, um, a great little product that's probably not going to see much use via me because I can't get it to work. Very disappointing and um, if there is more to this or you know where the instructions are and we can give this another uh, go then let me know. I did try all the things that um, I could find with it and I just simply could not get it to um, to really be an emulator or be a sniffer um, for what you know, I kind of wanted. There might be some encryption cards that it can do later on down the track where it might be able to do that. But for me, it, it kind of feels like it's just paused up or seized up and, you know, it's gone to God. Maybe I've got a bad one. Who knows? But that's along, that's along the short of the Camellia Tiny. And I think it'll probably just go in the back of the cupboard now and uh, on onto the standard cloning once we go. Okay, leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching.